Good morning, Mission Control. Well, I got my workout in today so I could be fit to work when I was in the Air Force and we did PT, physical training. The, the mantra at the time was fit to fight. And the idea is that every airman should be ready to go to fight at any moment. We worked out, we trained uh, to be ready to go. And obviously I'm not in the Air Force anymore, so uh, being fit to fight isn't necessarily what we do, but the idea carries on in me, fit to work is what I call it now. Working out, staying in shape, trying to anyway, better than I have before in my life, so that I can come out here and I can work hard, I can go in, I can get a good night's uh, rest, a good meal in me, and wake up and do it again the next day with, without having so much pain uh, because I'm out of shape. So it's really been helping me out a lot. I encourage those that have uh, not gone into weight training to definitely do it. It's been a miracle worker for me compared to cardio is just uh, night and day. So it really helps me and it's helped out a lot with this, especially since we have so much metal, lots of heavy lifting, lots of weird positions and those muscles core work everything is really coming handy today what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up welding the door frame in and then we're gonna get underneath of this thing and start putting some sheet metal on uh, that's gonna be an interesting and fun time to do that uh, once we get the sheet metal on and we get all the grinding done on this thing we can actually take it out to the site and uh, attach it to the uh, trailer and then the rest of the sheet metal we can actually do on site if we want to it's one of those things I'm gonna have to weigh we got to get this thing kind of out of the way if we add too much metal to it it's gonna be very difficult to lift so there's this uh, balancing act. I might end up saying, well, I'll just rent a forklift and have that come up here and we'll move both, we'll get them both fabricated and then move them at one time or we'll move them out there. We'll see, see how it goes. But uh, I've got a few different ideas of how to do it. But enough talk, it's time to get to work. So let's get the uh, Lincoln Electric Power 210 on. That thing is awesome. I am really loving it. Uh, again, I'm not a professional welder, um, but I swear that thing makes me look good. <laughs> Oh man, it is it is a nice machine. So uh, welds are coming out nice. Uh, even when I grind them down, you know, I'm seeing that I got really good metal penetration. So I'm very happy with the welder, very happy with the welding going on. I keep wanting to talk because I don't want to actually have to work, but I have to work. So let's get to it. Just got back from the store, changed up into the good old Real Martian overalls. I uh, wanted to say, I go through a ton of gloves. I've used synthetics, leather, all of them. The thermal gloves that they have with a sure grip on it. And they all have goods and bads, but uh, these are my current set of gloves. They've lasted about four weeks. These are the $15 variants of gloves. I use them for everything, and I should probably have gloves for a specific tax, but I don't like that. I like having one pair of gloves that are broken in that I could use for tossing hay bales, moving metal, welding, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it's very hard to find a set of gloves that does it all, of course. Today when I was at the store, I decided to get a pair of these uh, mechanics, mechanics wear, and uh, you've, you've probably seen them before. Heck, you guys probably use them. I'm the last one to the party, probably. Highly recommended, a lot of people use them. See how well they do. See if they're real Martian uh, approved by the time it's all said and done. Heck, I, I think they should be able to do better than that. We need to put the new wire on the, uh, the welder and then uh, weld up, finish welding up the uh, door frame. And then we got a lot of grinding and two more pieces of sheet metal to put on. That sheet metal is 6061 aluminum. It's very light. It doesn't need to be very heavy. It's non-structural. The stuff that's on the bottom is not gonna be holding anything. It is there to keep muck and grime and water from uh, getting up while we move it down the road. So it needs to be able to withstand, you know, 70 mile per hour winds uh, as it's going down the freeway, which it's going to, no problem. Uh, that's the type of metal we're using on the bottom. We'll also be using that on the sides. Uh, I could have used sheet metal. Uh, aluminum was lighter, uh, and I was worried about how, how, wet, how heavy this thing is going to be. In the future, we'll probably go with sheet metal just because it's less expensive and uh, we'll have better tooling, better facilities, and we won't have to worry about the weight of it so much because um, we're gonna be well under the max weight of this trailer. Even when it's fully loaded, we will be nowhere close to how heavy 
this trailer could actually be and how much it can carry. So let's get started putting the wire in the welder and get going. I really am smitten with this uh, welder, but I think it's because my it's probably my first, it's not just that. Lincoln Electric is a well-known brand. Uh, Miller, Lincoln, ESAB, they're all you know top of the line type of welding equipment for the pros, which I'm not. Uh, so having a Lincoln Electric is, is pretty cool for me, um, but I am smitten with it. it. It's just all the stuff that was on the Chicago Electric that I've used around the ranch for so many years, this thing, you know, blows out of the water. Um, it comes with an adapter uh, for the heavy reels. Uh, simply get it in there. That allows it all to spin and such. Put that on there. Can only go in one way. Little dental pick has been a great tool to have for those really small places. There we go. I gotta tell it, uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm telling it what diameter we're feeding and then I'm setting my gauge and just feeding it through. There we go. Okay. We just got done uh, putting all the panels on the bottom. They're all riveted. We got a few holes to drill and then uh, finish up some grinding and we'll be able to move this thing out and take it to the site. Really thankful that this part's over because I've been rolling on my back uh, for quite a few hours now and uh, got a bunch of metal back there. So uh, it's nice that this, this part is over. Some things are better made for YouTube than others, and us getting this thing all the way out here is one of those things I chose to leave off of YouTube. I certainly don't want anyone out there trying to do what I did uh, to get it out here, but uh, essentially we used a bunch of skis and rollers uh, with the forklift on the tractor, and we're able to get it out here without having to go rent a heavier piece of machine. The tractor almost had enough to lift it, uh, but it was just a little too much with the length of it and the lever arm that was created with how long this thing is. But we got it here and we're ready to actually start lifting it up into place. We got all the bolts tightened along the top uh, on the cross member assemblies. And now it's time to get these guys put in uh, all the way along. So let's see how that goes. Woo! That's one half of the belly bay installed. Uh, we gotta go weld up the aft section, get the floor on it. We need to uh, bring it out here, install it. We need to build the door, and then we can actually start cutting uh, the sheet metal for the out complete outside of everything. It actually took us two days to get that stuff all done, so it's great seeing the forward section on there. Still got a lot more work to do. Again, our next move is to come in here, do the same thing we did with the forward section, but do with the aft section, get everything all welded up, get all the sheet metal on the bottom, get it out there, get it installed. We got holes to drill, of course, so that we can attach the belly bays to each other and strengthen them. Uh, still, a, still a ways to go here, but uh, today was a big muscle movement. It's really awesome when you get those big muscle movements uh, that happen, because you just, you know, you work, you see all these little things and all, you know, nothing really big is happening. Then you see so, something big happen and it's like, oh, there we go, we're making progress. So, hey, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe, ring that little bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram for some behind the scenes stuff. And if you'd like to support our efforts, you can do so through Patreon. Thanks everyone for following along. This is Real Martian, out.